Hey Loadout Room, this is Travis, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a knife review. But this knife review is a little bit different. Normally we pick a, uh, we have tactical knives, EDC knives. Today, we're going to be looking at a kitchen knife. So, this is from Half Face Blades. Again, they make a lot of good tactical knives, but they've dived into the kitchen knife realm. And I can say, I'm thoroughly impressed by this knife. I used it for the first time yesterday. I actually received it the day before, and I was really excited to get on it. Now, I really love cooking, and... One of the most satisfying feelings out there is just a sharp blade just cutting through meat, just gliding through it. So that's when I received a kitchen knife from Half Face Blades. I already knew it was going to be sharp, but God, it is sharp. I don't even have to put pressure down to cut through something. Um, when I was stripping uh, chicken out for vijitas, it was just glide it. There's no downward pressure, no force. And that's how it comes sharpened from the factory. And I'm really afraid I'm never going to catch that kind of sharpness again. So I'm not the best knife smith, but I'll enjoy it while I have it, and I'll pay someone to sharpen it. Now, before we start cutting anything, the knife does come with a little cardboard uh, blade protector. You should definitely use, because you do not want to cut the shit out of yourself. Let's see. And then, nice little case. Perfect for storage after it's been cleaned and dried. This blade does have the uh, stone wash finish. You can see it really nice and of course the uh, half face blades logo and it has a very uh, I guess primitive look to it but it's very very capable so today since this is uh, September in Florida it's still basically summer here there's no signs of fall yet um, we still have watermelon so we're gonna slice through this bad boy and I'm gonna show you how little effort I have to use to cut through something all right so we got our uh, dinky little watermelon here it's a little guy but if I get a big one, I won't eat it all, so know your limits, guys. Got our knife, cutting board, bowl. Of course, nice easy in case the ninjas attack, which is, you know, always a possibility. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's go ahead and very uh, Michael Myers this thing. This isn't traditionally a task you'd use for a kitchen knife like this. But, God, just glides right through. I'm making very uneven cuts here right now. I know. But just appreciate this. Look at that. Look how clean that cut is. Look at that. Perfect. This side over here. And you can see this is actually pretty thick watermelon. I don't know if you guys are watermelon connoisseurs, but that's pretty thick skin. That's what happens when you get these little dinky ones. Not a good fresh Florida one. That skin is pretty tough. I don't know if it shows very well. I'm not really having any issues with it on video here. Just glides through. Look at that clean cut. Just appreciate that for a second. And then, of course, we get to this part, which is a little tougher on the stem. Go ahead and flip them over. Find my cut. Pop right through that stem. There we go. little part here. There's a fun watermelon fact. You know how they're ripe when they get ugly and yellow on the outside. Typically this should be on the bottom and not, well, this should be on the side that, this is the side that lays on the ground when it gets yellow like this. It's usually nice and ripe. This one's a little bit young, but it's a good test because it's thin and the skin is so thick. Excuse me, I can't talk today. Right, so, go ahead and do some fine cuts here. So, 
not, not a whole lot of pink in here. Too much of that white. I realize this is going from a knife review into, you know, how to make good watermelon, but you guys can just, mmm. It's really hard to describe the feeling of a sharp knife slicing through something so smoothly and so evenly. And I lost a piece there. Mmm. Mm. But it really is one of the most satisfying feelings. And if you're a cook or you want to learn to cook, a good set of knives is a must-have. It really makes life simple. Do not go cheap on those Walmart knives. Those really cheap Walmart knives are great if you're, I don't know, chopping a vegetable. Or if you're just going to chop watermelon. But if you're going to cut meat and you want that real thin, precise cut, and you want maximum control, you need a good knife. And the thing with um, dull kitchen knives is they're actually dangerous. And any knife can become dull, but those cheap ones are going to dull very fast and they're never going to be as sharp as this. Now, a dull knife means you got to put all this effort, and that means more effort means less control. Less control means more likely you're going to stab yourself. You're going to cut yourself. And these knives are made to cut deep. They have that nice belly on them. So if you're cutting and you use all the control and your hand's in the way, whoosh, I'm going to have a good time. Where's a nice sharp knife? Boom. Sharp knives are safe knives, guys. I mean, as long as you're not an idiot, but you can't idiot-proof everything for everyone. Yeah. I just really appreciate it. Hmm. I'm going to be eating a lot more vajitas. I'm going to get some, some steaks and chicken again tonight. And just the feeling, that control, just cutting through things is so nice. And it's really one of those things you kind of have to experience. If you ever use cheap kitchen knives, if you get a cheap kitchen knife out, and compare it to something like this, the the, the difference is night and day. I'd, it'd be a challenge to ever go back to a uh, Chinese steel knife. This knife, oh. just effortless. As an amateur cook, I will I will say I am impressed with this knife. Well, cutting watermelon is not the biggest challenge for it, but it's the easiest one to show you guys without having to get up close and personal in chicken meat, and I'm not bringing chicken meat outside. But this is just such a nice, sharp knife. I really love it. So, I'm going to enjoy my watermelon, guys. If you guys are interested in a finely made kitchen knife, half place, half face blades has you covered. You know, even there's there's other nice kitchen knives out there, but are you going to see this kind of workmanship and quality in them? Like, like you can get some very nice German made, no nonsense kitchen knives, but they're not going to look like this. They're not going to give you that real American feeling of control. I mean, these guys know how to make a knife look pretty. And like I said, it cuts. It cuts very well. So, again, I'm going to enjoy my watermelon, and I hope you guys, if you uh, get a chance, you go out there, get yourself a fine kitchen knife, especially this one from Half Faves Blades. This is Travis with a mouthful from the loadout room. Be safe, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks for watching.